Halloween is right around the corner. So I decided to build a house in The Sims 4, but every room is a different occult. I'll be spinning this wheel to determine which room is which. But of course, we have to build the shell first. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, that is the outside done. I may have built it slightly too big for the lot um, because there's literally no room. So here's the plan for the inside. Ooh, how am I gonna do this? Here's what I was thinking. Like kitchen, dining, living room, bathroom. This could maybe be like a study and then a bedroom with its own bathroom. I suppose I could also just do like a breakfast nook type of thing and make this another bedroom. So this will be the living room. We'll make it work. We'll figure it out, but it's time to spin the wheel. Okay, for the living room, we've got, oh, oh, oh right, right, on the, right on the edge. A witch, okay. Witchy, ooh, right off the bat. I'm liking this flooring. Oh, I'm liking that flooring too. I can use a lot from Realm of Magic here. It's very witchy. What do they have for wallpapers in here? Mm, no. Those are not giving witchy. But what is giving witchy? Oh, okay, like moon, stars, that type of thing. Like this. Oh my gosh, wait, this is perfect. The purple, oh, it's perfect. I gotta change the floor though, the floor's not matching. Next thing I must do is curtains. I just, I need to do it. Okay, that's so pretty. What color should I do? I could go dark. I feel like if I go dark though, you can't really see it. Let's just leave it this default color. I actually think it goes really nicely. The floor is still throwing me off, can I be honest? Or how about that? Okay, do we have any witchy looking couches? We must. This is The Sims after all. This is a good contender. I feel like this could be a good contender. Oh. <gasps> Wait, maybe I like this one even more. And there's a matching love seat. We stay winning. Yeah, Realm of Magic is really gonna come in handy on this one. Ooh, this candle. Oh, it's perfect. Oh my God, this rug. This rug, it has a moon on it. It's like slightly too small, which is driving me crazy. If I size it up though, it's too big. Oh my God, that's the perfect rug though. I like this rug, but I think I'm gonna change the couches to another witchy color. I feel like this color is witchy, like almost like jewel tones. You know what I mean? I don't even know what you would call this, but it's giving like, you could see this color on a crystal. Oh my God, we need the, the, the craziest fireplace you've ever seen. Oh my God, that's actually great but it's really big. We do have this new TV that has like backlights on it. Maybe there's a spell placed upon this here TV to give it LEDs. <laughs> I wanna do something over here too, but I'm thinking we absolutely need a cauldron. Duh. <gasps> see, see the pink, the pink. I was onto something this whole time. I was about to say, isn't there a fireplace with jewels? Yeah, there literally is. But I still wanted to have like functionality of a living room. I feel like witches are like big readers, you know? They love to read. Let's get these girls some books. Oh, this could be kind of cool. Like two of these bookcases in the entry. Oh, that is so cute. I love that. Some of my favorite paintings of all time come from Realm of Magic. How about a cabinet full of potions? And try to squeeze that in. I'm gonna just push it into the wall a little bit. Maybe this candlelight back here from Realm of Magic. Oh, the herbs. Yes, we need that, we need that. And I'm gonna put this light in here because it actually has like little orbs around it, I think. It sort of looks like it. Oh, maybe that's because I sized it down. Hello, welcome to goofball hours. All right, I think I'm done with that room. That is my witchy room, yay! Let me be so clear with you guys. I don't think this hallway, what, what can I even do? I'm just going to give it this very subtle wallpaper. There is a design there. Do you see, oh, you see it in the light? Very subtle. Okay, let's do the kitchen. Spin the great wheel of occults. <gasps> Mermaid kitchen. Oh my God. What are we gonna do? I'm thinking lots of blues, bubbles. Oh man, do we even have anything good for that? Besides like tile? Hey, that's not terrible actually. For what we're looking for, it'd be nice if there was an actual wallpaper though, let's be honest. I think I am gonna go with this. I think this might be the best possible thing. God, do I change the flooring? I kinda hate it. I don't think I'm gonna change the flooring. This is still a kitchen after all, and I want it to sorta look nice if I can. What cabinets are we gonna do mermaids? 
There's a blue cabinet. That's got blue on the top. Ooh, I like that one. We do also have this one. And I kind of like this one a little bit more because the top almost kind of looks like bubbles. This one is really, really cute. And the colors are great, but I just, I think that countertop is just gonna, that's what's making it for me. I think I'm gonna do like a galley kitchen like this and then have a dining room table over here. I think that's my plan. If I was thinking mermaid, I think I would also choose like purples and stuff. Oh, we've got a scary table, nice. But not really giving mermaid. Oh, that's so cute but not for mermaid. Oh, we do not have a lot of good choices for tables. So maybe I will just do this. I actually do these like teal chairs. I like that more. What did I do on the top? You know what, what if I just searched mermaid? What do you think I'd find? Wow, two whole things. How about an axolotl? This one's pretty hard. This is a bit of a struggle. <gasps> Wait, the splash pad stuff. Oh my God, it's a freaking whale. Well, that's pretty cool. We do still need a fridge and we need a stove and obviously a sink, a trash can. This looks horrible, but it kind of looks like it could live underwater. Oh, why didn't I put another cabinet there? <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. I chose the one cabinet that doesn't have upper cabinets, but I guess this is pretty close. I don't even like them. <laughs> I'm gonna put this lava lamp in here. Oh my God, now it looks like the room is actually underwater. I'm gonna hide another one back there. Oh yeah, that looks cool. This one's actually really hard. I'm really gonna be focusing on these decals, I think, to save the day, cause I got nothing else. All right, I put decals kind of scattered around. This is crazy, but I am gonna put the fish fountain in here. And this is also, this is a bit, <laughs> this is a bit morbid. The trophy case. A fish? Oh, there's a fish lamp. Okay, let's put two of those down. Okay, honestly, I think I have to call it there. I, I, I am doing my absolute best, but that was really tricky. Before we keep going, I would like to thank today's sponsor, Game Loft. There is nothing I love more than a cozy game when I am ready to unwind and relax. And Disney Dreamlight Valley is the ultimate cozy game. Whether you're designing your home, decorating the valley, or creating the perfect outfit, this game gives you tons of creative freedom. You also get to join your favorite Disney and Pixar characters in really fun quests and storylines. And the best part is they are always updating the game so you always have something to look forward to. For example, there is a brand new update where Timon and Pumbaa from The Lion King have just arrived in the valley. My favorite part about Disney Dreamlight Valley is being able to decorate my house exactly the way that I want it. You can add multiple floors, you can have multiple houses, you can put them wherever you want in the valley because you can also decorate that too. Not to mention there's also farming, cooking, and fishing too. So if you are looking for a new cozy game to play, I highly recommend that you check out Disney Dreamlight Valley using the link in my description. And a huge thank you to Gameloft for sponsoring today's video, and I'll let you get back to it. Okay, let us do this first bedroom. Bend the occult wheel. Vampire, I've been waiting for this one. And we are so blessed to have a vampire pack. We are so blessed. Hey, it's got similar flooring to what I was using before. Oh my God, what if I did this carpet? It's like blood. Oh, that wallpaper is so cool. I don't like it with the flooring though. But of course they don't just have like a dark flooring. It has to all be like these crazy patterns. Okay, let's just do this. Since we're going with a bit of a crazier wallpaper, let's keep the flooring more simple. Now, do we want a bed or do we want a coffin? Oh, the possibilities here are endless. They really are. Oh, let me put down my curtains. Oh my God, they look fabulous. Oh, look at that. That's gorgeous. I certainly love the idea of a coffin, obviously. I think we have to do that. I wanna like raise it up on a platform though. What if I put it up on this like corner platform? Behind it, we can have this like gargoyle fairy tombstones. If we get ghost, tombstones would be really good. Let's put some sconces by the door. I think we do need this fireplace. I think we have to have it. And I think his portrait needs to be above it. Oh my God, there's so many different ones. I didn't even know that. Oh, I love this one. Sconces, Moa. Ooh, that looks nice. Sort of give it a little bit of base there. That looks pretty. Guys, where did the, where did the statue go? It's literally just a base. Hold on, wait, what? How did that actually happen? Wait, I'm kind of freaking out. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. What the hell? How did the fairy come off? You can move the fairy? Are you telling me that fairy's just floating around somewhere and I don't know where it is? Maybe I deleted it. Um, 
let's move on. Uh, the Vampire Pack does not come with very good rugs. I gotta be honest with you, I don't love them. So let's do that one. Let's get the scary mirror. Oh my gosh, look at this chair. I think I know what I wanna do. I honestly might use the dining chairs because they're a little bit more compact. We have like a little seating area over here with the candles. Uh huh, we have lots of candles in here. Oh my God, a pipe organ. I can't fit that in here. Oh, but I can fit a grandfather clock. That looks so cool. Yeah, we've got tons of spider webs, tons of like wall decay, which is pretty cool. Oh my God, that thing is big and scary, yikes. I put some red plum bob lights kind of just like scattered around. I tried to like hide them in things just to give it a little bit of a glow. But I think that's my vampire room. Okay, can I do this tiny bathroom? Actually, vampires is one of the only packs I know for sure has like stuff for it. Oh God, God. Not this again. No, let's spin again. <gasps> Alien! Wait, this could be kind of fun. <laughs> okay, I know those are just green spider webs, but you have to admit, it gives a little bit of alien. We really shockingly have a lot of green um, plumbing items for some reason. Hey, why is this working so well? I mean, that's all the bathroom things, but like now we need alien things. Can I type in alien? What the, what is this? Oh, I can squeeze him in right there. Isn't there an alien gnome? There's a wolf. There's a picture of a spaceship. It's very well hidden in there. Honestly, this room is so small. I think, I think that might be all I can do. I can't fit anything else in here. I mean, but it's giving alien. It's definitely giving green. <laughs> all right, the next room is going to be an office. Spin the wheel. Give me something interesting. Oh. Zombie. Similar green sort of vibe, except maybe with a little bit more like blood. This whole section is just gonna be green. I'm sort of thinking of using stuff from Strangerville. They were sort of zombified. <gasps> is that a UFO? Dude, I was looking for that. Put that in the bathroom. Yes, zombie radioactive waste. How is this gonna be an office? <laughs> Different type of office than I was going for, I guess. Let's go for a, we're doing research, we're bunkering down. Are we the zombies or are we fighting off the zombie? I am going to put these all over the place. They are literally glowing toxic waste. Oh, that sort of looks bloody. That's actually so gross. That's so gross, but it works. Maybe like a hand. I don't know, I'm just I'm thinking outside the box here. Oh, I mean, these are kind of skeleton-y, but I think they kind of work. I'm actually gonna go back the vampires because they have like they have these tombstones and I mean zombies gotta come out of something. I mean zombies tend to make a mess as well so let's just put some crap down. Rip up the walls a little bit. What else? What else can I get with zombies? I'm thinking like brains and stuff but I can't find anything in here like that. Well this was supposed to be an office so I'll put in a bookcase. Maybe some tires. Oh no. <laughs> I don't know. Zombies is kind of a tricky one. I think that's why I'm giving up on the zombie one. That one's hard. Hopefully it sort of gives zombie vibes. Let's do the second bedroom. Hold on, we have two more that we haven't done. I keep landing on vampire over and over again. <laughs> there we go. Yay, fairy! I'm looking forward to this one. So technically we do not have fairies in The Sims 4. So I'm gonna have to get a little creative. If I type in fairy, what do we get? Oh my God, the tooth fairy. <laughs> That's kind of hilarious. We do have this one, which I think we should use. Oh, I'm, I'm going full pink in here. I'm thinking like very florally, lots of pastels. Oh my gosh, yes, mushroom. No, don't even play with me. I know there's a seat that looks like a mushroom. Yup. I'm actually wondering if I should change the flooring to make it look more like foresty if I can, like pastel, but also foresty. I don't even know if that's an option. Oh my God, wait a minute. You guys, guys. <laughs> okay, yeah, we're going with that. Oh my gosh, I'm going to put this fairy on top of this mushroom. Fabulous. What if I had two? I make a small one, put her on the other mushroom. Oh, I'm loving it. Would it be crazy me to delete the light and then have like ambient lighting instead? That is the most fairy light I've ever seen. Little decal there. Definitely need more plants, like just everywhere. We'll put some lights down over there. I've got a bookcase over here. I might move the door over a little. I feel like a fairy would paint. I do. I'm also gonna put the flower arranging table in here. I've got this little picnic blanket, which I think looks kind of cute on the grass. I'll throw some pillows on the ground. As for what to put on the wall, oh man, I don't know. How about we trellis this wall? There we go, that looks really pretty. Ooh, a mirror. Didn't really leave room for one. This is a load of barnacles. I'm gonna put a little mirror there. And honestly, I feel like that's pretty good. That is the cutest little room. I would love to live there. And last but not least, we have one more bathroom. 
Oh, wait a minute. We got it. Ghost, 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 ghost. I'm so freaking excited. Okay, what are we gonna do for ghost? I think there's literally a ghost wallpaper with ghost, yeah, with ghosts on it. Oh, there's two. Oh my God, that one's adorable. Look at the colors. Oh, we haven't done purple anything. Let's do purple. Okay, we'll do like a black wood flooring. Okay, I've got all the basic plumbing things down. Okay, I wanna put this guy in the tub, but like floating above the tub. Yeah. You can change his color. Oh my God. I kinda wanna put him in the shower too. This place is just filled with ghosts. I'm gonna put a little table here with some little ghost friends. They're actually adorable. Can I be honest? Well, since they're ghosts, they obviously also died. So we have to put some tombstones in here as well where I can fit them. I really can only fit the one. Maybe I could squeeze this one in. Okay. Oh, a rug would be cool. A ghost rug. You think we got anything like that? We've got a pumpkin, a bat, and a skeleton. <laughs> None of those are correct. But I'm gonna go with a skeleton anyways, because the skeleton is, you know, they're also dead. We need some spider webs in here for sure. Ew, you step out of the shower into a spider web. That would be my final straw. The shattered photo, it's giving haunted. It's giving dead people. I like the idea that this man is the ghost. I know there's another one in here, but that one's just a little extra. Oh my God, we have ghost chairs. Oh no. I need it. Okay, maybe I get rid of you. How am I gonna fit this in here, dude? Oh my God, it's a ghost chair. What am I gonna do? I have to use it. I know it's not practical. I gotta use a ghost chair. Maybe I can bring back the tombstone though. Yeah, we'll just like squeeze it in on the other side. Okay, I'm gonna squeeze some lights, some purple lights into some things. Give it kind of a purple hue in here. Oh, that's really cool. Just to end off the spooky vibe, a spider. Hey, maybe that's what killed him. All right, there's my ghosty room, yay! And that is my occult house. We had the witch room, the mermaid kitchen, the alien bathroom, the zombie office, the vampire bedroom, the fairy bedroom, my personal favorite, and the ghosty bathroom. I am loving the purple in here. I think it's such a fun color. Yay, a cult house. Well, I hope that got you guys into the Halloween spirit a little bit. I've got my little sweater on. I'm feeling the vibes. And thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you all very, very soon. Bye-bye.